Welcome to an Unruly Guide step-by-step -step video. This video is part of our tutorials that offer step-by-step -step guidance through ebook formatting, book cover design, print on demand, and more. In this video, I'll show you how to set your metadata and how to use Sigil's internal validation tool, Flight Crew. EPUB distributors such as Apple and Smashwords require that the EPUB file be validated. This includes setting the metadata properly. If you do not set the metadata, then the file will not validate and you will not be able to publish your book. To check for validation errors in your EPUB, go up to the menu and select Validate with Flight Crew. You can see that three elements popped up in the validation window. Elements listed in yellow are warnings. They usually mean that you have an image that is not being used in your ebook, and it is wise to actually remove any images that you don't intend to use. Red or pink, on the other hand, are warnings, which means you have invalid code or elements missing in your EPUB file. The two errors listed are the most common, and they are usually missing the language element and the title element in the content OPF file. To set the metadata, go up to the menu Tools and choose Metadata Editor. This opens a window where there are three elements that are required, the title of your book, the name of the author, and the language. You can also add other elements, add basic elements or roles. Basic elements include publication date, description, format, and ISBN number. Adding roles allows you to add other authors, book cover designer, proofreader, publisher, and even editors. Put in the exact title of your book, the author name, and the language. You can type in the author name as first and last, and then also the file as as last comma first. The language I've chosen here is English, but there is a long list of language choices that you can choose from the drop-down. Once you've chosen all your metadata elements, click OK. You can always come back and make changes by going back to the metadata editor. To make sure that these validation errors are now corrected, you can rerun the validation with Flight Crew. The only issue remaining is an image that is unused in the ebook. You can take care of that by actually deleting that image from the images folder. Your ebook should now be valid, but let's run validation with Flight Crew one more time to be sure. Sigil's internal validation tool shows that there are no problems found in the EPUB file. So this book is now a valid EPUB file. However, I highly recommend that you generate the table of contents one last time, making this your final step before saving your EPUB file. This way you ensure that any changes that you made to your book are indeed included in the TOC and CX file. In the next video, I'll show you how you can make a MOBI file from an EPUB file.